We have to expand the tempest of our visions to go beyond our church walls, to go beyond our denominations, to go beyond our place of living, to go beyond our cities, to go beyond our nations, and start to have a kingdom mindset. You cannot receive this new wine with the old way of thinking because God is about to show up. And when God shows up, God starts to show off and he starts to do the impossible. He starts to use you to do the impossible. Somebody say hallelujah. There is the presence of God. There is a weighty presence of God that is available to the church of Jesus Christ. Many understand coming to the cross, maybe even a revelation of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. But I'm here to tell you there is more if you hunger and thirst for God. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. There is more. We need to have deeper revelation. We need to have deeper encounters. We don't just want God to show up and visit us. We want to become that habitation. on this altar, I spoke about being faithful. To be faithful is to be full of faith. To be full of faith is to be full of, be full of the Holy Ghost. You are that living temple and the Holy Ghost wants to dwell in you. The Holy Ghost wants to do more for you. The Holy Ghost wants to expand your of your tents. He wants to enlarge your vision. When revival comes, it brings to life a vision in your life, a purpose in your life, a destiny in your life. He comes to revive it. He comes to revive it. You may become weary in the work of God, but you cannot become weary of the work of God. and new destiny and I'm here to challenge you hallelujah, hallelujah. you got to be challenged to look beyond the world to look beyond your circumstances to look beyond your understanding even if you do not understand to say God whatever seed has been planted it shall germinate in the name Hallelujah. 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 Jacob had to be brought to a place of humbling for God to bless him. A lot of people just think that it was just his wrestling skills why God blessed him. But rather, God was saying to him, it's not by your mind. It's not by your power. It's not by your progress. It's not by your understanding. It's by the power of the Holy Ghost that you achieve great things. We need more of God in our lives. 
in our churches, even beyond the churches, even on the mission field, even beyond the mission field, we need God to show Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God showed me the scripture, according to Isaiah 64, verse 1, it says, Oh God, won't you render the heaven? Won't you tear the heaven? Won't you open the heaven and come down? That the mountain is may shake in your presence. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You say, But Pastor, we're in the New Testament church. On the day of Pentecost, there was the mighty announcing of the church of Jesus Christ with the mighty rushing wind, with the tornado of fire that became divided tongues of fire upon each of them. The tongues of fire touched the tongues of flesh. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. The heavens open. God tore the heavens. Just as he tore the veil. We should go through to the place of holiness. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. We knew that the tent meeting or tent of meeting, the tabernacle, was a replica of what is in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they would come into the tabernacle. And there would be the brazen altar. Where they would make sacrifice for sins. And they would make the sacrifice for sins for them to enter in. But they could not go in. But we know that when Jesus came, he 